Good morning. Today, the Father in Heaven has laid it on my heart to share a testimony with you of what Jesus has done in my life. Um, my name is Titus Morris. Uh, this is my faithful horse, Stand Fast. And I'd like to tell you part of my part of my story, part of my testimony. So I didn't grow up Amish, um, but I grew up in a Christian home and parents that loved me, that taught me from the Bible. And we would, in the morning time, we would sing songs and pray morning and evening, read the Bible. I was homeschooled. And, and my parents tried to shield me from a lot of the evil influences that are out in the world today. And I'm grateful for that. But one time we were at my grandma's house and uh, there was someone staying in the basement and uh, anyway, I was looking for toads down in the window well. And I loved, I was like seven years old, and I'd find the toads and play with them and look at them and, and, and put them back in their home, you know. And, but somebody was down in that basement watching a porn movie. And I'd never seen that before. And I knew in my conscience that that's wrong. I, I shouldn't look at that. But I just, there was this pool, you know, and I was just looking at it, wow. And so I guess it's kind of like cocaine, you know, just like, you're just hooked immediately. And so, um, you know, I remember a few years later, you know, finding a magazine by the side of the road, you know, and uh, sin is like a root. You know, at first, it's not very, not a very strong root. It can be easily pulled out. But the longer sin grows, the stronger that root grows. And that, that just, and then that led to like masturbation, and just, um, I remember, you know, my parents had computers. And so I remember I was looking up, I looked it up one day, I probably for the first time looked it up myself. I was probably like 16, 17. And uh, it caused so much guilt, you know, knowing that I was going outside of God's will for my life, knowing that I was disappointing my father in heaven, knowing that if my parents would know, I, was, I would be disappointing them. And so my conscience was, was guilty, my conscience was not clear. And so there started to be this depression that was just crushing me out. And I would try, I would say, oh, this is the last time, I won't look at it again, this is the last time. Or I'm gonna stop looking at this. And I would try, uh, I would try to stop, but couldn't stop. And so it was this frustration and so this depression, and so I would, I wanted everybody to think that Titus is happy. Titus has it together. And so nobody really knew, not even my parents, nobody really knew what I was going on. They didn't know the depression in my, in my mind. They didn't know that. And so, um, you know, probably starting at age of 17, 18, you know, somewhere in there, I started just feeling like, you know, I tried to be a Christian and I failed. So. I started thinking maybe I should just end my own life and then I won't have this struggle, you know? But then I thought, well, if I kill myself, then like in the judgment day, then I would stand before God and he would say, well, we can't have murderers in heaven. And then I would be destroyed in hell. And I didn't want to go to hell, but I knew that I couldn't go to heaven unless I'm willing to give up this sin. And so, I was just failing, failing, failing in my walk with God. I remember I was um, 21 years old. I'm 31 now, um, about 10 years ago. And I was all by myself cutting firewood. And I was feeling like my life is such a failure. I tried to be good, I really tried, but I, I just keep failing. I'm tired of the struggle. I really want to end my life. And, you know, as a man, you don't want to show weakness. You want to project that image of being strong. But when you're all by yourself and you're out in the woods, you can cry like a baby. So I was crying. And I had my Bible with me. And I thought, you know, I prayed. I said, Father in heaven, would you please 
said, please, Father in heaven, would you show me a sign that, 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 that I haven't gone too far, you can still forgive me, that I can still, still have victory. Would you please show me something? And if you'll show me something, then I'll choose to live. And if not, then I think I just need to end my life. And so I opened up my Bible And I didn't know where to look. I didn't, I just, I just opened it up and it opened up to Zechariah chapter 13 and verse one. And it opened up to Zechariah 13 verse one. In that day there shall be a fountain open to the house of David and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem for sin and uncleanness. And I thought, wow, that's me. Because of these sinful thoughts, because of these sinful things that I'm doing, I'm unclean. But he gave me hope that there's a fountain open, that there's, there's this water, there's this fountain that I can come and be clean. And I realized that that fountain is the blood of Jesus. That gave me hope. I thought, yes. I thought, yes, God did give me, He did speak to me through His Word. Because I could have opened my Bible, I had, I had opened it randomly, and it could have opened to that scripture that said, and Judas went out and hung himself. It could have opened to that, but God had His hand on my hand so that it would open to the scripture that I needed right for right then. So I'm speaking to the people that are watching. Maybe you're considering ending your life. Why don't you get your Bible out, and dust, it, dust it off? Or if you don't have a Bible, why don't you go get one? If you don't have a Bible, contact me and I'll try to, I'll try to send you one. But open up God's Word and say, Father, would you speak to me through your Word? I'm asking in Jesus' name and He will speak to you. So. I had this root of sin in my life and I tried so hard to be good, but it wasn't working. You know, I bought this farm and there was lots and lots of little trees that were grown up. And so I, I would cut them off with a hatchet or a machete, cut them off and then they would sprout up and then I'd mow it with my mowing machine and they'd sprout up again. And this one sprouted up like four years in a row. But the fourth year, I was plowing with my horses and the plow point just caught it right there and jerked the whole root out of the ground. And that's what Jesus did for me. So I tried, I would say, oh no, I'm never gonna look at that again. I'm never gonna do this again. Never gonna do that. And then I would fail. I tried so hard to be a good Christian and I failed. It wasn't until Jesus, through the plowshare of repentance, plowed in my heart, and He pulled out the sin by its roots, and now it's gone. So do I still get tempted to go in the wrong direction? Yes, but Jesus took the sin out by the roots. And what He did for me, He can do for you too. There was a song during this time in my walk with God, in this struggle that I had, that was very meaningful to me. I'd like to share it with you. It's, um, If you've been bruised by the chains of sin, and you are searching for peace within, I know a Savior, and He'll make you whole, and He'll fill that longing down in your soul. I searched for him, but I knew not what I longed for. I longed for him, but I knew not what I longed for. Till I met Jesus, I knew that I would search no more. He filled that longing down in my soul. He filled that longing down in my soul. When I first started learning that song, I started weeping, I started crying, and I thought, you know, that's me. I'm in the chains of sin, and I've tried so hard to break free, and I'm not able to break free. 
But as I was learning that song, I realized that Jesus can break the chains. So are you addicted today, maybe to pornography, masturbation, alcohol, or anger, or whatever sin, whatever sin it is in your life, are you chained up? You can try, you can say, oh, I'll never do this again. You can try to cut the sin out of your life, but it will always come back. Sooner or later, it will come back. The only way you can get sin out of your life is if you say, Father in heaven, I'm tried, I'm a, I'm a failure. Would you please take this sin out by its roots? If you'll do that, Jesus will take that sin out of your life by the roots and you'll be free. And I hope that you can experience what I have through Jesus. Father in heaven, I want to pray for all the people that are watching this video. And I'm asking Father that you would work in their lives, that people will be set free from sin. Please Father, be with the people that are struggling, that want to be free from alcohol, masturbation, pornography, tobacco, lust problems. Be with the people that want to get free. I'm asking that Jesus will set them free so that they can live a life full of joy and purpose and victory. Father, forgive us for what we've done and give us a heart to obey you. We're asking this in Jesus' name. Amen.